All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to everyone, to each of you who are uh, on the line this Thursday afternoon. Hope and pray that everyone is doing well. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us all continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Again, it is our prayer that everyone is doing well and staying safe during these times and that you are continuing to wear your mask. Um, a few brief announcements that we're going to make mention of before we uh, engage in prayer uh, this this afternoon. Uh, we will pick up our Bible study or our Bible class on January the 4th, 2020, 2021. That will be the first Monday in January. Uh, I failed to remember uh, when we were going over our lesson this past Monday that next week is the week of Christmas. And uh, the following week is New Year. So we want to uh, encourage each of you to utilize that time to energize yourself and start the new year off with a bang. So uh, next week we will be celebrating Christmas uh, with family. So uh, consider that an opportunity as well as the week of New Year. Consider those weeks as opportunities for you to energize yourself so that we can start off 2021 with a bang. Uh, so our Bible class will uh, start up again on the 4th of January. That's the first Monday in January. All right, we would also like to uh, inform all of the members, encourage them to come out and participate in our Christmas drive through uh, this coming Sunday, immediately following our worship service, we will have goodie bags and Christmas bag gifts uh, we are given out to all members. So please, ma'am, please, sir, if you're able to uh, spread the word and put that on your calendar because we want to uh, be a blessing to the members of our church. This coming Sunday after worship service, uh, we will be having a Christmas drive through celebration where we will be giving out goodie bags and Christmas gifts to our members. Uh, this Sunday as well, there will also be a short virtual Christmas program uh, presented by the children and the youth of New Mount Zion, which will air immediately following Sunday's sermon. So you'll be able to uh, view that and look at that on social media as well. Uh, last announcement, uh, please remember uh, that the church planning meeting for this year has been suspended or canceled because of COVID-19. So all individuals listed in the church bulletin as it relates to holding positions and ministry leaders will remain the same, will remain intact, uh, because most individuals did not have the opportunity to work or fulfill their duties because of the pandemic. So we will carry over uh, all leaders into 2021, unless you are that individual who chooses to opt out. Please let us know, and we'll make sure uh, that those positions are filled. Uh, we look forward to uh, having worship in the park a lot again this Sunday and going live at 11 a.m. on Facebook. Uh, there's a passage of Scripture real quickly before we engage into prayer. There's a passage of Scripture, considering this is the uh, Christmas uh, holiday season, uh, I want to look at real quickly 1 Corinthians chapter 13, uh, verse 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to read those verses to you real quickly so that you see what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, 1, 2, and 3. This is what Paul says. He says, I speak uh, with the tongues of men of angels, but do not have love. I have become a noisy gong or a symbol that's making a lot of noise. If I have the gift of prophecy, know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And then he says in verse number three, and if I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, but do not have love, it profits me nothing. So so this particular passage of scripture in First Corinthians chapter three, uh, uh, the devotional material that I was looking at this morning uh, calls this or considered this to be a spirit-filled life. That's what uh, Paul basically is saying in verse 1, 2, and 3. He's talking about a spirit-filled life. Now, I want to raise this question before we pray. 
which would be the easiest thing for one to do? Think about this. Which would you say is more difficult, teaching a Sunday school lesson or loving your enemy? Which would be more difficult, helping a neighbor or practicing patience with someone who gets on your nerves? Think about this. Which is more difficult, doing a good deed or holding on to your joy in the midst of a crisis? The truth of the matter is most of us find the latter of each pair more challenging and less rewarding. So today's culture and today's society, we admire people who are action-oriented and we tend to adopt the same standard in the church. Listen to this. This is amazing. There's an assumption, even in the church, that individuals who are doing the most are the ones filled with the Holy Spirit. But the truth of the matter is, this is not automatically true. Accomplishments do not equal spiritual maturity. I want to say that again this afternoon. Accomplishments do not equal spiritual maturity. But the true measure of the Spirit's control in one's life is their character. Not abilities, not achievement, but their character. Though, though, though the truth of the matter is we must understand that good works and spiritual gifts are God-given avenues for our service, the Holy Spirit is also at work bringing about spiritual fruit in our life. So the, the goal of the Holy Spirit is this. His goal is an internal transformation whereby Jesus' character qualities are produced or reproduced in us. So without the fruit of the Spirit, we talked about that in Galatians 5, all of our efforts at service are literally worth nothing because a spirit-filled life is most readily visible in Christ-like attitude and interactions with other people. So as we yield ourselves to his authority, and allow God's work to dwell richly within our being, he will transform all of us. It is more important to have a spirit-filled life, a spirit-filled character, than just to be busy, 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 busy being, doing a whole lot of other things and not have love. So I wanted to share that this, uh, this day as we uh, go into the Christmas season, uh, Christmas next week. Love, love, love is what matter the most. All right, we have three individuals who are going to lead us in prayer. I'm going to take the line off mute at this time so that they can bless us this afternoon. All participants are now unmuted. All right, we have three individuals who are going to lead us in prayer. And uh, we have Sister Leslie Jennings, Sister Ida Berry, and Deacon Willie Bell Scott. So we're going to start with Sister uh, Leslie Jennings. If you're on the line, Sister Jennings, we're going to turn it over to you at this moment so that you can lead us in prayer. Yes, I'm here, Pastor. Uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. May we bow our heads, please? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Heavenly Father, I praise and thank you for teaching and loving, correcting us. I know that you only want the best for us. Thank you for always hearing us when we pray. God, please forgive us for complaining and not demonstrating a joyful attitude. Please help us not to continue to do so. Nine muted. And I complain or others complain, I am not standing in, in faith. I realize that you want us to trust you 
in every situation. I know that each rocky road makes me stronger, makes us stronger, because you're working all things together for our good. I know that you have our lives in your hands, and we surrender our will to yours. I trust your plans, for I know that they are best. Fill us with joy and let us all go in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Jennings, for uh, opening us up with prayer on today. Uh, Sister Barry, if you are on the line, we would love to hear from you at this moment. Uh, Pastor, and good afternoon, everyone. Let us all bow our heads again and let us listen to the word of God in prayer. Father God, you are the great I am, the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the bread of life, the living water, the light of the world, the prince of peace, Jehovah, all by yourself. We come today confessing our sins, sins of omission and commission, asking for forgiveness because you said in your word that if we confess, you are faithful to forgive. Father, we thank you for favor. You touched us with your finger of love, and you allowed us to see a brand new, amazing day, one that we haven't seen before, a day full of your unmerited love, a day full of your kindness, a day full of your mercy, a day full of your grace. Father, we seek your guidance in our lives as we seek to do your will. Order our steps in your word. Teach us to be humble as we labor to do your will. Bless those that are bereaved, broken in spirit, homeless, sick, hungry, every man, woman, boy, and girl. For we all are in need of something. We know that you are a way maker. You can either fix it, turn it, shift it. All we need to do is to wait and trust because you are an on-time God. Father, help us to be more supportive and less judgmental of others as we celebrate your sovereignty and invite you to use all of our gifts to bless your people and build your church. Father God, as we prepare to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Let us not get too busy to remember the true meaning that God sent his only begotten son into the world to redeem us that we might have the right to everlasting life. Lord, bless our pastor and his family. Bless New Mount Zion Church family and all our friends that so graciously fellowship with us on this prayer line. Bless our country. Bless our leaders to seek your will to lead your people. We thank you, Father God, for the gift of salvation. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Sister Much, Sister Barry, and Sister Jennings for uh, those prayers. Uh, Deacon Willibel. Nine unmuted. Uh, bless us with a song. Uh, first, and then she's going to be the third individual to pray for us. Deacon Scott, are you there at this moment? I am, Pastor. Thank you so much to all of you, my church family. I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas. Nine muted. Our first New Year. Today is a special day for me. My great-grandson. He's seven years old today, and we are so grateful that he is who he is, how we brought him up, and he's doing great. We ask that you pray for the children in our church. We pray, Lord, that, uh, you know, people will take our children and teach them the right things 
uh, Sister Nance is doing, and her staff is doing a magnificent job, our pastor's wife, um, the, the lawyer. <laughs> I can't think of her name right now, but everything is working so well for New Mount Zion. We have been blessed through this whole pandemic. I want to share with you uh, one of my favorite Christmas songs. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye. To Bethlehem, come on, behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us. Oh, Most gracious. Amen. As humbly as we know how, just to say thanks. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us all the way from the beginning of this pandemic to the end, because that's where we are. You promised us in your word that you would hear our prayers. You said, if my people who are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. Seek my faith. Turn from your wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will heal your land. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you, Lord, for taking us all the way down to the end of 2020. Nobody couldn't have done it but you. We've lost a lot of loved ones. I pray for those who are bereaved. I hope that they will understand that you are in control even in this. And help us to come together, to live and to seek your faith, and to do as you have commanded us to do. Father, we pray that you will continue to bless us continue to show us the way. Now that we yield ourselves to you right now to do whatever it is you need us to do. Yes, Lord. To speak when you want us to speak, to say what you want us to say, to be led and guided by the Holy Ghost no matter what the cause to mm-hmm. us may be. Now that we ask that you bless our church family again and take care of us. We've been through some things here, Lord, but you've been right here with us, and we know you were there. Mm-hmm. We thank you, Lord, for our leader. Our pastor mm-hmm. has taken us from one extreme to another. He has taught yes. us what we needed to know. His family mm-hmm. has been there to support him as well as us. God, we thank, thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, and we ask you to please to have mercy upon us right now. Forgive us of our sins, because you said in your word, if we would ask for forgiveness, you would be faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we we need you right now. Yes, yes. Lord, we need you. We need you, Master. We ask you, Lord. Stand by us, lead us, and guide us in Jesus' name. We pray. We thank you, Lord, for all that you did. I pray a special prayer for Miss Betty. You know her situation, Lord. 
In the mighty name of Jesus and heal her body, as only you yes. can do. Yes. Have mercy, Lord. All of our sick and shut in, are not just in New Mount Zion, every church door that's open in your name, Jesus. Yes. We yes. thank you, Lord. We ask you to go yes. in and out and take these people yes. where they need to be. Take care of them. Lead them and guide them. Mm-hmm. In our yes. country, we have this president. We ask that you please, God, take care of them. Secure yes. him mm-hmm. and help him to do what you would have him to do. Yes. In Jesus' holy and righteous name. Mm-hmm. Please, God, bless yes. our board of members, our deacons, our trustees, our ushers. Yes. Our members, touch their bodies and heal them. Yes. Touch their yes. minds and sustain them that we can come out of this in a joyful manner. And we thank you, mm-hmm. most, God, most High God, for your darling son, Jesus, that came yes. at this particular time of the year. He came at this particular time of the year just yes. to give us a right to the tree of life. We're thankful, God. We can't thank you enough for all that you have done. Bless us and take care of us. Lead us and guide us now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God, for all that you have done for us. We thank you for who you are in our life. Thank you for the prayers that all of us have prayed, God, and we pray uh, that you would reward all of us, each of us, for being faithful to you. God, you, you said in your word, you said in your word, Father God. Uh, that you are not a God who bless and reward those who are perfect because none of us are perfect. We are striving <laughs> for perfection. We're striving to be that mature Christian that you would have us to be. And we do realize and recognize that in the midst of us striving, God, you reward us for putting forth effort. Thank you, God, for all those who are on the line today, this afternoon, the faithfulness of calling in each and every week. God, we thank you for how you have brought us to this point in our life right now. God, 12 months have gone by. You brought us to the last few weeks of this year. There have been trouble, trials, and tribulations, but the truth of the matter is, God, we thank you for continuing to be with us. Because it's one thing to go through trouble without you, but it's another thing to go through trouble, and you are right there with us. We thank you for being by our side. Now, God, we pray that you continue to bless our church, our families, our friends. God, we even pray for our enemies, God. We we thank you for yeah. helping them to be a footstool for us. But we're not praying selfish prayers, God, because we are Christian. We are Christ-like, so we want you to... Bless our enemies, forgive them of their yes. sins, because much like you said, while going to Calvary, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So, God, we yes. pray for everyone on this line, their family. We pray for each member of New Mount Zion Church. Thank you for our leadership. Thank you for us being together and on one accord doing this pandemic. Yes, and we pray, yes. Father God, that you will continue to bless those who are sick, those who are shut in, yes. those who are struggling with COVID-19, pneumonia, uh, asthma, bronchitis, whatever individuals are struggling with, God, in the name of yes, Jesus, Jesus, we plug, we plead the blood of Jesus over their life. Yes. And God, we thank you for this that thing that has come out, God. We pray there's a lot of questions thank individuals you, have as it relates to it, God, but we're not concerned about that because we Thank know you. that you have all power. And we say yeah, about God, what you're doing, even in the midst of what we're going through. God, we thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord, whose birth we are celebrating. And, and we realize and recognize it's all about Jesus. A lot of us that our mind, keep him at the forefront of our mind, but keep love at the forefront of our mind as well. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you all so much again. Amen. For calling in, those who prayed and blessed us on today, thank you so much. And until Sunday morning, we pray that the grace of God will continue to be with each one of us. Have a blessed rest of the day. Amen. Amen.
Yes, ma'am, Sister Betty. I've been having so much trouble with my foot, and I'm asking you all to pray for me. Yes, ma'am. That is a heal, because I know God is in the healing business. Amen. I'm asking you all to pray for me. Sometimes I can't even put my foot on the floor. It hurts so bad. Well, Sister Betty. Know that you can definitely be assured of our prayers. And listen, I don't believe that we ever pray too much. So let me pray again for your mm-hmm. foot, okay? Yeah. All right. God, God, you heard the prayer request of Sister Betty. God, we thank you for her being a prayer warrior. We thank you for her yeah. faith and her trust in you. And God, I just believe that you are able to do all things but fail, whatever we ask you to do. Mm-hmm. God, you said in your word that 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 if we ask, seek, we shall find those things. If we yeah. knock, the door shall be open. And I pray right now for Sister Bed and her foot, God. I pray that you will minimize the pain or discomfort in her body and then allow her to use this as a testimony to share with someone else that you are still God and you are still God. Oh, yeah. We thank you for the victory and we thank you for the peace that we feel thank and that you. she feels and knowing that all things are going to work together for her today. In Jesus' yeah. name we pray. Amen. 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 Sister Amen. Betty, and I'll call you, uh, I'll call you later on today uh, and chat with you some more, Sister Betty. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you all have you. a blessed day. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Conference will automatically end in 60 seconds. All participants are now muted. Conference ending. Goodbye.